Hi everyone, Katherine Ewing here from Reawaken Your Dreamer. How are you today? So I just wanted to check in. It's about a week after the new year and see how you're all doing. I want to congratulate all of you who set your intentions, um, either in a group or by yourself, to really make 2014 the best year you can for your personal life, for your business, for your relationships, for your health, for your finances, whatever it is that you've decided you want to focus your attention and your energy on in this year coming up. And so I want to check in and see how that's all going. About a week ago, we were all excited and really pumped up, right, to, to set our intentions and create our vision and really look forward into this year. And there was a lot of really wonderful energy with the uh, new moon on January 1st, the super moon, to really begin to whip that all into action. So here we are a week later. And how are you? If you're anything like most of us, all of those good intentions have maybe settled down a little bit and all of the energy and the excitement that you were feeling a week ago perhaps has gotten lost a little bit as you move back into the day-to-day -day life. What I've noticed over the years with myself, with my clients, with my friends, is that a number of different pieces all have to be together, put together, in order for us to really take inspired and consistent action on our dreams. The first is that we have to have real clarity about what it is that we want to create. And not only clarity on what it is that we want, but why we want it. That place from deep inside of us that's really longing for something more authentic, more meaningful, or more purposeful. Secondly, we need to figure out what gets in our way? What is standing between us and the dream that we want to create, the life we want to create? What are those limiting beliefs? What is the self-sabotage, the self-doubt, the self-criticism? What are those things, those old energetic patterns that get in our way and how do we blast them out so that we can move forward? Thirdly, we need community. We're not in this to do it ourselves. It's so helpful and just keeps our spirits up and keeps our energy moving when we can be around other people who get us, who understand us, who support our process, who will be encouraging and give us honest feedback when we need it, but really understand what it is that we're trying to create and have our back, so to speak. And finally, and sort of along that same line, is accountability with all the clarity, with all the blasting through the blocks, even when we have some supportive friends and family, I found that if we don't have someone who is holding us accountable on a regular basis, week to week or every other week, to make sure we're staying on track with our goals, that we're doing the things that we said we're going to do to really move ourselves forward in a purposeful and consistent way, we can just often lose traction. And then before you know it, a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month has gone by, and we really haven't done anything purposeful to move us closer to the life that we want to create. So that's my quick little uh, few moments for today. If I can support you in any of these steps, I'd love to support you in all of them, but if I can help you to get clarity, blast through those limiting beliefs, help create some community around you to support you, and also hold you accountable and be your cheerleader at the same time, I would be so blessed and honored to do that with you. So have a wonderful day. Figure out what you need support in and let me know. Namaste.